Hey, I uh, can't see anything. Uh, my name is Mido Island. I'm the same body project manager for Campus Services. Uh, my talk today is about uh, innovative technologies to boost recycling. Um, so in my capacity at Georgia Tech, I deal heavily with recycling and composting. And um, some of the challenges we have around that. So Georgia Tech has very aggressive sustainability goals in that space. Uh, specifically, we would like to almost reduce or eliminate the amount of waste we send to landfills, which means we really need to ramp up our recycling and composting to about 90% of our current um, overall waste leaving this campus. We're closer to 26% now. So uh, to get to that 90%, we obviously need to address some challenges. The main ones that we've seen is the lack of interest in doing uh, recycling and composting. You know, it's, it's an extra step sometimes, and a lot of people don't have that time or interest. And um, to you, lack of knowledge about recycling and composting. So you're coming from, if you're a student on this campus, you're probably coming from somewhere where uh, you don't, um, you might have different practices for recycling. Um, you might be, you know, not knowing what goes where. Um, we have different practices on different parts of our campus. So if you're in housing, it's one thing. If you're in this building, it's another. So it can be very com confusing. So um, the two challenges we have, um, specifically interest and knowledge, we know we're looking for some innovative tools to address those challenges. And we happen to find one that we are in the first year of use now, um, which is a phone app called Eco. Uh, it's developed by a, a um, entrepreneurial team out of Georgia State. Uh, they have set it up uh, so that it is um, any student, faculty, staff on our campus can use it. Um, we've entered in contract with them to do that. Um, particularly, the students find it very interesting because they are um, very phone driven, as you may know, um, and they uh, enjoy the interactive pieces of it. Um, so, to address the two challenges I mentioned earlier, Eco does both in um, unique and creative ways. Um, the first being information on how to properly recycle and compost. Uh, you can take a picture of any item that you have and it'll tell you how to recycle it uh, and where on campus to recycle it. So we, on the, the where part, we on the, as administrators, will put in all our information into their system so they have all that data and it'll geolocate you within our campus to the nearest recycling bin and exactly what kind of bin you want to put in when you get there. Um, the other piece is the incentive. Um, so the uh, app gives you points every time you recycle, and you can cash those points in for uh, prizes through the app, which are gift cards usually, or um, we do special drives. Like we had a Recycle Across America competition in the fall, and the winner got a free bike. Um, so the biggest recycler on campus got a bike. So that addresses the incentive piece as well. Um, so between those two pieces, uh, we are seeing some great um, take up on student usage. Um, they actually get. I've been here nine years, and we don't get a lot of positive feedback. It's usually negative. And this was actually one where we got a lot of emails about how much they like this program. So um, I know it's working, and I'm excited to see the usage of it. Our biggest challenge is really um, expanding user growth. Um, we find referrals work really well, but often when students see an app coming to them that isn't Georgia Tech, they think it's a third-party app trying to kind of you know, monopolize, sell them something. And they, we need to make awareness about this app that is something that Georgia Tech is paying for for them to use, right? So we're paying for it, Georgia Tech is, and uh, the students can use it for free, but they need to understand it's sponsored in that capacity. So we're really trying to overcome those challenges. Um, like I said, referrals are great, but we've seen you know skyrocketed growth. Um, we're about 2,000 plus users right now, um, and this is its first year, so it's, it's going really well. Um, we've done interactive competitions in it. We'll have one all April long between the Greek sectors and our housing sectors, and um, the students really like that competition. Um, they can create little communities in it. There's a whole social platform. Uh, it has all the elements that they like. So um, very excited about this tool, and I think it has a lot of room for growth. Um, we are one of the early adapters, but it's since expanded to other schools. I know South Carolina and California, they both have it now. Um, and I'd like to see it continue to go uh, here on campus and elsewhere. I think it's really something that addresses our biggest challenges in a kind of an innovative way. And I don't know where I'm on time, because I don't know when I started. So, uh, five minutes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we do questions or are we done? Well, if anyone has a quick question, they, they're welcome. Yeah, shoot. Is any student on our campus? So they could use it. Um, uh, there is a verification in the email, so I think it'd be a little challenging for the guests. I mean, you probably could set it up ahead of time. Um, we have had fraud in the app. You're not surprised, Georgia Tech students um, taking pictures of like a Coke on a laptop, right? Actually, it was Pepsi, so that was the first giveaway. 
Um, but yeah, we've had some fraud, so we do verify emails. It needs to be Georgia Tech connected. Um, so you could set up for guests. Uh, you would need to figure out how to do that verification step. We could probably work with you. Uh, but yeah, anyone, as long as you're on the physical boundary of this campus, it'll geolocate you within there, take you to the nearest recycling bin. You can collect points. Um, but yeah, any student faculty staff.